March 1st, senior students of Isha Home School, soon to graduate, gleaned insights from Sadhguru. I know this is a thing that's happening everywhere in the world. I'm sure every student who's uh, moving from school phase to maybe university phase or vagabond phase, <laughs> they're all thinking what subject? If we are thinking life, we should not think in terms of subjects, academic subjects. We should think in terms of what would we like to create for ourselves and for the world around us. So if you say, I, this is what I want to create, then how to equip yourself for that? What sort of education, what sort of institution, what sort of subjects will empower me to create what I want? That's a way to go. At this age, you must put in substantial physical and spiritual sadhana so that when time comes, when life gives you an opportunity to do things, your body and your mind should not hold you back. March 1st, ladies from the Ludhiana, Coimbatore and Chennai chapters of Fiki Ladies' Organization meet with Sadhguru in the ashram. We are still one leader standing up here, one leader standing up there. There is no leadership in the society. So anybody, if you meet ten people in your day, every day let's say you're meeting ten people, there are three things you can do. You can impact those ten people positively or negatively or you can let it pass by. Most people are letting it pass by, few people do negative things, very few people are doing positive things wherever they can. So this is an opportunity that we have every moment and this is the only way a truly healthy society will come up that everybody is seeing how to impact positively wherever they are, in whatever little opportunity that they have. March 2nd and 3rd, meet with Isha Yoga teachers in the scenic Nilgiris. March 5th, former chairman of ISRO, the Indian Space Research Organization, joined the Rally for Rivers National Board. More plans were chalked out at a board meeting in Bengaluru as the rally enters the execution phase in cooperation with state governments. March 6th, Isha Foundation was recognized as Green Crusader of the Year at the 8th Annual IAA Olive Crown Awards for its work in creating a greener environment through Project Green Hands and Rally for Rivers. In a conversation with Sudanshu Vats, Group CEO of Viacom 18, Sadhguru gave an update about the Rally for Rivers draft policy recommendations to revitalize India's rivers. So, we, I was looking at how to make an ecological initiative into uh, a win-win for all the people concerned. When I said all the people concerned, one thing is the fundamental entity is the river. And uh, immediately there are farmers and the communities which live there. And uh, there are local governments and there are people who live in the cities. And there is a larger government. All of them should benefit, otherwise this will not happen. Somebody will put spanner in the works. So this is how the policy was constituted. Fortunately today, the government has received this as a very uniquely positive policy and uh, from Niti Ayog, it's in the Prime Minister's office and I think uh, in a few days uh, the thing will go out. The advisory will go out for all the chief ministers, what they should do in those states. Almost in total, it's, it's being accepted, almost all the recommendations. March 9th, Sadhguru presents the first copy of the book, Fulfilling Bapu's Dreams, Prime Minister Modi's tribute to Gandhiji, to the Honourable President of India, Sri Ramnath Kuvind, at Rashtrapati Bhavan. The book captures Gandhiji's vision for a clean Bharat. March 10th, Sadhguru speaks at the first reunion of alumni of Harvard Business School's Owners and Presidents Management Program, which was attended by 85 successful entrepreneurs from over 30 countries. So business has to raise its consciousness from making money to creating something. 
because only if you create something that's useful for me, I'm going to be a part of your business, isn't it? So this is how business… businesses should grow and that's how they're growing. But that's not how people are experiencing. People are thinking they're just here to make money. No. Every business is in some way is addressing human well-being, isn't it? Whether you make a safety pin or a spacecraft, essentially it's about human well-being. The moment you forget it, you will suffer your business. If you are conscious of this, you will do wonderful business very joyfully and with great sense of fulfillment. March 11th. Over twenty rural girls from nearby villages of Isha Yoga Center were initiated into Bharat Natyam. March 11th, Mumbai, Sadhguru was named Outstanding Personality of the Year at the Hello Hall of Fame Awards 2018 for Rally for Rivers. On this occasion, Sadhguru announced that anyone can freely download his videos and share them. March 13th, Sadhguru initiates young full-time volunteers at Isha Yoga Center into a sadhana. March 14th, BSF top commanders who participated in the Inner Engineering Retreat Program at the Ashram have a session with Sadhguru. Few human beings choose something more important than survival in their lives. It could be a cause, it could be a nation, it could be love, it could be devotion. So those human beings who choose something beyond survival, they always know life in a completely different way than those who just live for survival. Maybe they will never know the comforts that other people know, but they will know life that other people will never know. <laughs> so. We are the same tribe that way. <coughs> None of us know any comfort. Seven days of the week we are on, on, on. But we know something that those who sleep in the afternoon will not know. March 21st, the permanent mission of India to the United Nations in association with Isha Foundation held a special event at the UN headquarters in New York where Sadhguru spoke about water, sanitation and women's empowerment. He detailed how aggregation of micro-irrigation and marketing for farmers can financially empower women and eventually result in better sanitation. March 22nd, World Water Day Sadhguru spoke at the United Nations for the launch of the International Decade for Action, Water for Sustainable Development, 2018 to 2028. It's really a fantastic day today that we are talking about a decade of action, not decade of talk talking, a decade of action, which is a very good terminology and very good intention. Now we have to get into action, obviously United Nations does not have geographical presence, it is the nations on the ground which need to act. So whatever the advisory is, whatever the decisions made, must become policies in every nation. March 22nd, Isha celebrated World Water Day with a bicycle rally by 100 volunteer students that created awareness in nearby villages. Two hundred full-time Rally for Rivers volunteers planted 3,600 trees, shrubs and bushes comprising of 200 different species in a six-acre piece of land. This man-made forest will demonstrate how trees will naturally draw birds, squirrels and other wildlife. The day culminated with cultural performances by Isha Homeschool and Isha Samskriti. March 24th, a gathering of over 6,000 attended the Mystic Eye program in Toronto. See, all of us are sitting here in the same hall, breathing the same air, maybe we eat the same kind of food. We are in the time… same time zone except a few people. <laughs> no, no, I'm just nasty, that's all, it's okay. <laughs> but this moment how I am within myself, 
I will not exchange this for anything in the universe. You give me anything, there is no deal for this. Because this is far more than anything that you can ever possess. And every human being has it. Only thing is not invested anything in the direction. There's nobody here who doesn't have it.